everybody what's up everybody how have you been how you doing yeah this is a new episode of the diary room show with your boy karawa if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet click in the red button below and give us another subscription give us another subscription well you know why it is just click the red button below oh i'm going to well, I was just kidding, but like I said before, we have so much to talk to you about this week. Ah, our entertainment industry is driving me insane. And when I'm talking about that, I'm talking about our Cameroon entertainment industry. It's no longer news that our Cameroon entertainers are actually suffering from an inspirational drought. Is it news to you, though? This is half of the year. This is June. We haven't had any heat. No single heat from our musicians. Is it just right for me to say that this might just be the worst year as far as creation or content creation from our artists is concerned because of course half of the year and we haven't had any heat nothing no prospects well let me not say no prospects recently however something that's giving us a little bit more hope as far as that is concerned is Blanche Belly not that she put out any song of any kind that is a hit in 2021 but that she was pictured in the studio with the big Don Jazzy. Yes, Don Jazzy of Nigerians, one of the biggest and most respected entrepreneurs as far as music is concerned. Also, Blanche Belly, also known as Quick Mimba or Bong Bong National, was recently made a trip to Nigeria and of course got into the studio with these big guns of music. Well, the anticipation is, as Don Jazzy posted on social media, is that he received one of the best of Cameroon, his sister. Yes, that's so sweet and that we should expect big things coming from that side we don't know for sure if blanche just went to visit don jazzy's office or she actually recorded music but from what we got from don jazzy's post on his instagram page they are probably working on something that's going to be amazing and because don jazzy never really disappoints we can't wait to hear something amazing that is going to be coming from that side of remember yeah this is the hope some of the hopes that we have yeah cozy is also on the line to release one of his songs and we already know that cozy is an amazing amazing hit maker yeah we don't know how that's going to go yet but of course there's some little hope we hope that before the year runs out we're going to have more than more than the number of hits that we're already assuming to have and yeah on the sad side of the story this week we lost one of our entrepreneurs uh by the name karen young entrepreneur young prodigy who has been doing amazing as far as entrepreneurship is concerned she was also a socialite and was growing an amazing platform on social media uh recently passed away a lot of rumor went on social media concerning her death we don't know According to information on the internet, she was allegedly poisoned. But putting that aside, one of the things that caught our attention this week, however, was Stanley Eno. Remember that same Karen was also a video vixen in one of Stanley Eno's songs titled Glory. The internet, however, badged Stanley Eno this week and was throwing all kinds of shade and insults at Stanley Eno for using this demise to promote his song Glory. Why was that being said? Because when Karen passed away, Stanley Eno posted a segment of his video of course or a picture from this same glory video where karen was sitting on the piano and playing as a video vixen he didn't just do that he also dropped the link to the music like you know go watch the video listen to the song and stuff and people are like wait what are you taking this as an opportunity to promote your song i mean i don't know if this was really is such a big deal as the internet is holding it but people didn't find it funny and they started backfiring and sorting and saying all of this random stuff and i'm like yo i think that stanley Eno is grieving like everybody else and just saying you know what maybe you want to see some of the amazing things that karen did you can check in the video i don't think that this was a way for stanley Eno to promote his songs i don't understand why are cameroonians never really having any chill why is it not the least opportunity that we have? We need to find an artist to insult. Are we that idol? I mean, you are going to tell me that everybody is entitled to his own opinion and stuff, right? But I didn't think that this was wrong for Stanley Eno to, you know, put out a segment of his video. I think that uh, late Karen didn't just appear in Stanley Eno's glory video as a video vixen. But I know that they have also been buddies. And just like everybody else, Stanley Eno is grieving the loss of his friend and putting out part of the segment of his video for people to watch her was a way of saying remembering her honoring her and stuff but you know how it is Cameroonians never 
ever really have any chill as far as that is concerned. Yes, yes, yes. That's all that we had for you in this episode of the show. If you love our show and you love what we're giving you every week, remember to click in that red button below and remember to follow us on our several social media platforms. You know how it is. We're always here. What's hot? What's not? Ever smiling boy. Karawa. In your diary